seasons in Albania seem to arrive a bit late. At least, it seems late to me, someone who was raised in a very different part of the world. So as we approached the end of March, the first signs of spring were starting to peek through the bleak winter landscapes. More and more birds were in the trees, and small patches of flower shone bright across the green carpets of grass. After an incredible trip to the north of Albania, I went back home to really dig into day-to-day -day life again. I love travel, but what makes it even better is that I love to come home after travel, especially to the small, cozy apartment I've put together for myself, made even more cozy by the occasional passing rainstorm. Really? Right here? Alexa, turn on the couch. And one of the beautiful things about putting down some semblance of roots in a place are the relationships you're able to build. Relationships that are formed through any kind of mutual interest, no matter how fresh. So one evening, I went with some friends from work to play football. Just because I'm not good at something doesn't mean I shouldn't try it. I've said it before, but I hate being boxed in to just the things I'm supposedly good at. I'm 32 years old, and if I stop trying new things now, how sad will the next 60% of my life be? So despite missing shot after shot, I keep trying. Because I can't get any better at something without looking a little stupid first. Mateo. No! And speaking of learning new things, one night I went to have dinner with some friends of mine. Partly because we haven't had time to catch up since I came back from the US, but also because there was something else I wanted to start doing, and this is where I could learn how. Are you using half of your starter? Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of things that I need that I okay. don't have. Um, like a double cooker thing. So I was given some starter, and a few days later, I began the process of trying to make my very first loaf of sourdough bread. You would be hard pressed to find a more apt example of magic in the ordinary than sourdough. Some of the most simple ingredients that when mixed correctly and combined with time yield absolute beauty. <laughs> that is, if done correctly. In hindsight, I probably should have done all of this in a bowl because the bread expands outward and kind of covers the whole bottom of this pan and it's really hard to tell how much it's rising. Notes for the next time. I have 
no idea if anything I'm doing is correct, but this is how we learn. But the thing about sourdough is that it takes time and it takes patience, both of which I tend to have little of. And so not only am I learning a new culinary skill, I'm using it as a learning process to better myself. I can feel the air bubbles in there. Try not to let them pop. Genuinely no idea what I'm doing here, but put it into this bowl so that it can bulk ferment overnight. And we'll see how that turns out. We'll set it over here on the table. And it's a process that takes time. So in between steps of making the bread, I would go for a walk or watch some basketball. Actually, that's a lot better than I expected. Look at that. bad. It burst too much down here because I didn't score it well enough on top there. It wasn't deep enough. Let it cool and see what the cross sectioning looks like. I maybe could have waited a bit longer but I'm too curious about how well I did this. Oh, <laughs> well, I still have a lot to work on. Huh, interesting. Well, that's a start. If you're a fan of NCAA basketball, you would know that March is the best time of year. And if you're not a fan, it's just that at the end of March, there's a 68-team tournament to crown the college basketball national champion. For me, this means that there was finally college sports on at a time that I can watch. So I spent probably too many hours in front of the TV taking in as much basketball as I could and enjoying every minute of it. 
This was the one time of year that I could really be swallowed by the magic of March Madness. And I willingly surrendered to it. Bang! And speaking of things that I'm still learning and trying to get better at, I headed to Korcha to my friend Tommy's. He has just bought a new house on the outskirts of town and is working on remodeling it. And he gave me a tour around the place. Why is the shower right there and why not at the back of yeah, the room? That's a good question. I don't know if they're going for it, but I'm going to have to like run those pipes over to the shower actually. The shower. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is where the shower was. Well, that's where that faucet is, but I put that in by where the drain is so that I can have water that doesn't run out my door. Right, but... But yeah, they put the faucet there and the drain in the center of the room. So I don't know what the plan was. <laughs> so I get to do with that. Uh, toilet on a temporary pallet. Everything, like, you have water and everything. Yeah, yeah. water and electricity. But it's on a well. It's not a, oh, a, a nice. Water. So I don't have to have water inside. This would be like the Marianne's room and the back would be laundry room, office kind of deal. Right, the rooms are kind of small. Is that your land? No. Okay. I was thinking about whether we could look into buying it because I guess the neighbor knows the owner and so we'd probably sell it, but I don't know. Gotcha. A lot maintained too, so I don't know if they really want to It's a lot of money. Yeah. So this will be down the road, the guest room. But at the beginning, this will be like the kids' room. Until we finish upstairs. Which direction does this window face? Uh, like north, east. east? So the sun will be coming in your window. Sure. Okay. Smart. Yeah, it's unfortunate to put this side of the house. But... Well, that's where you put the guests. Yeah, and we're going to put the upstairs. Me and Jordan just got done building this. Yeah. Steel, which is a big job. It's a good thing I have big feet. The same layout up here. Okay. Bathroom, two bedrooms. Just completely unfinished. Yep. So this will be the kids' rooms eventually. Kids' rooms and a kids' bathroom. And then there's a pretty cool bathroom over here. Oh, nice. That's actually super cool. Nice rainy day. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but like the mountains here in Corte are beautiful over there and it's not so cloudy. A little outdoor. Yeah. Cookout spot. Are you going to get that gate operational and park inside? Is that the plan? Uh, I don't know. We were talking about whether that's one motivation to maybe buying the land behind is you could have like a spot to park and then come in through like a little gate in the back. Yeah. Because I don't really want to have to put gravel in there, and then that eliminates a place for the kids to play and stuff. And it also, having to turn out of there onto yeah, the road kinda, is annoying. Because nice it's be probably a busy road. road. The stone is so, yeah, like, I love it. it's so, really cool. <laughs> everybody covers it with stucco. And like, they yeah. probably produce enough for your family. Yeah, I wouldn't even mind getting rid of a couple of the ones. That are, like, I don't like pears, so I might yeah. to make space for the cherry tree. You even got a built-in dog house? Yeah, dude. An outhouse? Oh, no. It actually is a plum for a <laughs> So I can be out here working and I have to go inside. You don't even have to go inside? Wow. Is this all your stuff? Yeah. You moved it all already. Well, some of it was, uh, we negotiated a deal to get all the stuff in here, and I sold most of his stuff now to get my money back, basically. I just wanted him to roll out and not mess with me. Did you keep some of the stuff from him? Yeah, like this drill press, the vices, the tubing bender. That welder, uh, air compressor. Nice. So there's some stuff that I will use that I was kind of fine with keeping and other stuff that I was like, I'm not going to ever start building 
aluminum doors and windows. So. Right. They cool. Some sold some. So, so this is where you made the railings. Yeah. And that's going to be the gate out front eventually. This one right here? Yeah, it's on like the rollers. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it. And then we'll weld in the rest of the little vertical things and then we'll be ready to go out there and start installing it. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. So this is like the sump pump room. Okay. And it's just like a wet dungeon with, and it's got full on prison bars, you know, come down. All right, there we go. Wow. So this is basically the, the groundwater level is that close. That's it's so sketchy. All day. And you put this light in here, I guess. Yeah, it was nice and even more sketchy. Prison bars, can't, can't get out. Let me turn this into a sauna. That's what it feels like, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. And then you got like the bench right there ready to go. So yeah, you, you honestly, you could store stuff. And if Ariana gets into canning, this yeah, is perfect. Yeah. Oh gosh, that scared me. <laughs> this angle right here just makes it look like a. Just a very yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you allowed to buy it as a foreigner? Uh, Ariana's gonna have citizenship at some point. Oh right. It's also in the category of like. Whoa, that guy's so big. I've never seen a worm that big before. And there's been like three of them that are competing for some. At least three. They're all big. And then I tried my best to help him with the work he had to do. I know I don't have many of the necessary skills, but maybe just an extra set of hands could be some help. And maybe I'd learn something along the way. Three lights. And we took some time to address the central locking issues I'd been having with my van. With the right tools, it didn't take long to figure out the problem and to figure out a temporary solution until I have a chance to purchase a replacement actuator for the passenger door lock. Okay. Feels like it's not maybe even doing, but it was moving the lock. No, 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 this wasn't doing anything. What do we got? I don't know if I would run that anymore either way. So this can be put probably back in the gear maybe? So like that probably popped out of the gear. Yeah. And that's why it's not like clicking at the two different positions, but it just feels kind of meh. I've been working on some big projects for my job. Projects that I'm super excited about and can't wait to show the world. But they require many hours staring at my computer. So in between long stints of working in front of a computer screen and watching sports, I did my best to give my eyes a rest by going on long walks outside. Whether the sun was shining and the birds were singing, or the rain was pelting and the wind howling, I made every effort to get moving and give my eyes a rest from the screens. The kids? Yeah, they are. Have you named them yet?
And one day, I got a phone call from some friends asking if I wanted to head into the mountains to make some lunch and spend some time together. So that's exactly what I did. We went to a spot that I've been a number of times, a unique perspective of the city and a view of the lake from an uncommon vantage point. Yeah, I'm in here. I would say that we should start. If we want to actually cook something, we should start building a fire, yeah? And despite the sun coming and going, and the occasional wind carrying the clouds quickly overhead, we ate and laughed and soaked in whatever warmth we could. Yet another way to get away from the grind of work and embrace the early stages of spring. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll be back soon. <laughs>